for 20. Bottom of the fifth, and Pettit just cruising. Carl Crawford stuck in pause. Next batter, Julio Lugo. This time he's swinging, but it's the same flavor. Pettit has won 15 of 17 decisions since June 14th, and he gets his win as he becomes a 20-game winner for the second time. Top of the eighth, and Derek Jeter gets hit by a pitch later. Bernie Williams gets hit in the foot in the eighth. Bottom of the eighth, Jeff Nelson comes back and drills Pete LaForest. Now, he said it was an accident. Then in the ninth, John Switzer nails Jeter in the leg. Switzer ejected, and Lou Pinella frustrated. Along the way, Yanks locked down a playoff spot, but Jeter said, hey, we're not playing for the wild. And Oakland, in Oakland, Mark Mulder not coming back, just keeping limber. Top one, Carlos Guillen. Is that ball coming back? We know it's a top ten nominee, not for getting out, but for Eric Burns getting on it with a crazy little thing called glove. Top six, four two M's. Ichiro hammering the ball to right. That's going off the wall, and that's not the only hammer and going on in this play. Ben Davis is coming home, and Ben Davis is crashing the party. Runs into Ramon Hernandez. Ball comes free. 6'4", 225 pounds. Good, hard, aggressive baseball. Said he never saw umpire Joe West, who is okay. Ichiro, four hits, a career high, five RBI, but Burns robbing him right there. Another top 10 nominee. But the Mariners win at 9-3. AL West down to three games. Checking on the Red Sox, taking on the Indians. Derek Lowe, just 60 pitches through the first six innings. He's cruising. Now, and by the bottom of the seventh, the Red Sox just nine outs away from reducing their magic number to six. And Josh Bard with the solo home run. His eighth home run, but it's still 4-2. Red Sox okay. After two more hits and a Damian Jackson error, bases loaded for Casey Blake Lowe. Of course, the wild pitch run scores. Red Sox now only lead by one. Later in the same at bat, Blake lines one down the left field line. Two run score. Indians take a 5-4 lead. They score seven in the seventh. Disaster. This is as bad as it gets for the Red Sox. They lose 13-4. Minnesota hosting Detroit. Twins have won seven straight. Tigers have dropped seven in a row. Top one, Shane Halter. A bullet to Corey Koski. Starts the 5-4-3 double play. That's a glove me two times. And how many times you see a guy make a nice defensive play and then respond at the stick all the time. It's called editing. Koski delivers a two-run single. Rivas and Mikhevich score. They came off rookie Nate Robertson. Top two. Nobody on, nobody out. Dimitri Young, liner. Johan Santana. Young's frustrated. A lot of that going on in Detroit these days. Well, with the loss, Tigers must now win five of their last eight to avoid tying the 62 Mets. They've won five of eight four times this year, most recently last month. Twins magic number, by the way, four. Go to the Central Royals and White Sox. Bottom of the first, scoreless. Brian Anderson facing Frank Thomas, and it's all about the hurt this time. Thomas, the home alone shot, his 41st of the year. Sox up 1-0, so Esteban Luiz is staked with the league going for... 20 wins for the third time. Top of the third, and uh, Desi Relaford says, I don't think so. The single to the left side. He was two for five. Same inning, Mike Sweeney with a shot to center that scores a run, his 80th RBI. Next batter, Rule Abanez, and uh, Royal score three in the third. Brian Anderson improves to four and one against Chicago. Loiza doesn't get his 20th win. All right, so we uh, take a peek at the hunt for October in the Central White Sox. Now four and a half back with eight to go. That's trouble, but the Twins still have five more games against the Tigers and... Smoltz activated Saturday after three plus weeks on the shelf with tendonitis. Admits he's not healed, but is a believer in mind over matter. Some numbers that matter. Smoltz has converted 60 of his last 63 save ops. Says he'll save his sore arm by not overthrowing in the pen. Marlins visiting Atlanta, Florida, one half game behind Philadelphia in the NL wild card. Bottom four, Brad Penny has driven in the three Marlin runs. And now he's given up one. Marcus Giles, his 20th. Braves tie an NL record with six players to hit at least 20. Giles, Jones, Jones, Lopez, Sheffield, and Castilla. Top nine, there's Smoltz. It's 5-3, and Juan Pierre is one and done, so is Smoltz. That he was going to take it easy. One batter out. Bottom nine. Braden Looper, Javi Lopez. This is a top ten nominee because Lopez is just making Ooh. a little history. 42nd home run. 41st was a catcher. That ties Todd Hundley's major league record. And the Braves would tie it at five. Top 11. 
Will Canane to Miguel Cabrera. Began the season at Double A Carolina. He's going solo. His 12th. The Rook, the big winner. The Marlins, the big winner in extras. 6 5, your final. All right, so the Phillies trying to stay on top of the wild card. You know, third base can be one of the loneliest places that you'll ever be. Reds and Phillies, bottom of the third, and Todd Van Poppel, who? Yeah, Todd Van Poppel gets Marlon Bird to line out to right, so Amari Talamaco has to go back to second base. He's on to second base. Van Poppel, six in a third, five strikeouts. Next batter, Polanco, he flies out to center. He was 0 for 4, left three stranded on the day. Third remains unoccupied. Should be clean. Bottom of the seventh, Jim Tomei on second, two not the Reds. Phil Norton gets Jimmy Rollins, who is 0 for 3, to pop out. So, Tommy stuck at second, and LaRue just gives him a little love. He winks at him like, what you doing out there, dog? <laughs> Next batter, Jason Michaels, and oh, Michaels grounds it to third, and Juan Castro steps on third. Tommy stuck, and huh, I like it when you call me Van Poppel. Todd gets the win. <laughs> Houston hanging on to that yellow jersey in the central in St. Louis. Throws a beat in the cards five straight. Straight to the 10th inning for Billy Wagner. He's loaded the bases. Pinch hitter so to Gucci. Now, next inning after 10 is 11. Thank Runner you. on third. That's for everybody who took the short bus. One out. Wagner gets pinch hitter Bo Hart looking. A couple batters later. Wagner looking at J.D. Drew, and that's a good-looking defensive play by the Stroh's reliever. And the next inning after 11 is 12. It's 12. Uh, Base is loaded for the I Cardinals it was a trick with question. one out. Jimmy William managing, bringing Craig Biggio in, break out the arrow. Five infielders, Biggio guarding the middle. And the middle is where Joe Girardi grounds that pitch to. Biggio guns it home. Scott rolling out on the force. And Biggio returns to his stomping grounds. And the next batter, Fernando Vina, sends that pitch his way. Inning over. And after 12 comes 13. One out for Fat Albert facing Dan Maselli. Hey, hey, hey. Swing and a shot deep to left. It is a home run. And the Cardinals win it on a Albert Pujols home. Walk-off winner, top 10 nominee, Pujols, 43rd, cards win it, 3-2. Cubs with a chance to gain a little ground in the central. That is Ryan Vogelsong facing the Dominican daddy, Sammy Sosa, and uh, the high heat, Sammy can't do a thing with it. Top of the third, 1-0 Cubs, Sosa up with two on, and this time it's the breaking ball. Top of the fifth, Sammy gets smoked again by Vogelsong. Sosa, three at-bats, 0 for 3, three strikeouts. Randall Simon on first now. Paul Bacchus strikes out, Jason Kendall can't handle it. The ball's thrown away. But it's okay. Matt Stairs comes up with it. Randall Simon running. Run, big ball, run. <laughs> He's not that fast. Simon misses the plate, and Kendall tags him as he pulls down. And Simon says, "Woo! can I get a Gatorade? Top of the eighth, Sammy Sosa up again. This time, Mike Lincoln gets Sammy. <laughs> Pull out the sombrero, dog. Pirates win. Eight. Angeles, this highlight sponsored by Taco King. Top six, Barry Bonds facing Hideo Nomo. 13 and four career against the Giants. Wild pitch, runners move up into scoring position. First base open, so you're gonna walk Bonds, right? Jim Tracy says two strikes now. And it moved back to the wall, telling his outfield, oh, moving way back. Bonds has homered four times in his last six games as he gets 658. No, he gets a towering sacrifice fly. JT Snow scores, and the Giants are up 1-0. Bottom six, it's four zip. Kirk Reeder facing Holbert Cabrera. Runners on the corners. Grounded to second, Ray Durham. Backhand flip to Rich Aurelia. Fire into first. Reeder, six shutout innings. And the Giants by a six-pack over the Dodgers. All right, Cubs can't capitalize on the Astros' loss. They remain a game and a half back. Marlins a half game ahead of the Phillies. Cubs two and a half back. The Giants with the win tie the Braves to the best record. Against them. Oh, what a sweet mean of the M's. How about they're within two of Ted Lilly and those Oakland A's. Lilly started off great. Gets Brett Boone to chase the high stuff for strike three. In the second, Mike Cameron would go down. Next better is batter Dan Wilson. Lilly would win his sixth consecutive start. Not bad for a fill-in. How about some offense? Mark Ellis. Loop single to center scores Scott Hatterberg. It was 2-0 Oakland. Miguel Tejada, very highly paid cheerleader. Bottom of the fifth, base is loaded. Ellis, get out of town, and he means it. His first career grand slam, A's win. They're up four with six to play. Red Sox and Indians, top four, no score. Manny Ramirez tells Cliff Lee, mm, You're not my daddy. Todd Walsh.
Walker scores. Manny, sixth straight year with 100 RBI, eighth of his career, Beantown up one zip. Pedro trying to remain perfect at the Jake, 4-0 lifetime at Jacobsville. Bottom five, watch catch you Jason Veritek, positioning himself for the outside pitch. And it, my bad. See what, what happened. <laughs> Y'all ain't got to put it on Sports Center. Back to business, Brandon Phillips got played by Pedro. 11 strikeouts for Pedro. Bottom seven, bases over two outs. Grady Little comes in. Grady says, yo, man, you want the Sports Center highlight to end with the closer saving or blowing it, or do you want to be the last player in the highlight? I think Pedro said, play it, please. 93rd career double-digit K game. Then watch Pedro. Couple of pounds, three daps, a point, couple of high fives, four pounds, more high fives. Take a count. It's going to be a test, Steve. Looks like handshake. around the horn. Yeah, a hug, three more handshakes, two more hugs. I think there was a squeeze on the shoulder that we didn't get. <laughs> a little chest bump there. Basically, Pedro went seven innings and touched every one of his teammates at least twice. Give me some more. Handshakes and pounds. Somebody, like, grab his ears. There's a hug. There's a hug. Millar gave him a hug. Aw, oh, oh, this... Steve, I just want to... Steve, can I... It's a... I just... All right, Stuart, that's I'm hugging enough. Steve right now. We just feel the love. Love fest. It's so sweet. Red Sox win two zip. A's inching closer to the AL West title now. Four games ahead of the M. One zip on the double raise. Man on third. Jeremy Gonzalez facing Aaron Boone. Boone to left. Al Martin catches it and fires home. Hideki Matsui tagged at third and came home safe. Matsui, watch again. Realized he hadn't been tagged. Slapped the dish. Matsui also had his first career triple in the game. Top five, Jeremy Gonzalez. I don't know what instrument that was, but that sure was chin music to Jorge Posada. Later in the at-bat, Posada, a weak grounder to second. On his way to first, he starts yapping it at Gonzalez. Gonzalez comes at Posada. Bench is clear. Somebody said something about somebody's mama. Yankees shut out the double eight. Bottom three, Shannon Stewart. Hi, Chopper. Oh, you're not supposed to really say it high. It's just technically a high chop. Yeah. Yeah. Stewart, 71 RBI this year. Twins up 2-1. Then Brad Rathke was just ridiculous. Got Kevin Witt, Brandon Inns, Ramon Santiago. At least they all got the bat off their shoulder. Twins 14-1 against the Tigers this year. Tigers getting closer. Yeah, Twins are making this a, a one-horse race. The Royals and White Sox just watching like Tony Pena. They're battling really for second in the Central. Rondell White. His 21st homer of the season, 17 of them have come on the road. That's his third with the Royals. Since September the 9th, Twins have won 11 of Twins and Cardinals. Bottom four, Stroh's up three, zip runner in first. Eli Marrero smokes a grounder to the left side that Morgan Innsberg just plays Hoover with. Check out the replay. Lay out, get up, throw out, take bow. And Morgan will let that little 0 for 4 day at the plate just kind of slide. Bottom five, 4-2 strokes. Base is loaded for Edgar Renteria. Raking kid off Jeremy Robertson. Renteria, after this, just two RBI shy, being the first shortstop since 1985 with 100 RBI. Robertson out. Ricky Stone in. Next batter, Eli Marrero. I said raking kid. Cards get out hit 12-7, but win the game 6-4. Hey, Mark Pryor was dealing for the Cubs in Pittsburgh in search of win number 17. Bottom of the first, already 2-0 Chicago. He gets Jack Wilson, Jason Bay. In the bottom of the third, Jason Davis in a 3-0 game. In the fourth, it's Bay again. In the fifth, haven't seen Abraham Nunez go down. In the sixth, Jack Wilson again. It basically doesn't matter who was batting, huh? He retired 15 consecutive batters at one point. Bottom of the eighth. Pryor will get Rob Makoviak after giving up one run and then loading him. Pryor will be pulled. He's 9-1 with a 1.42 ERA over his last 10 since returning from injury. Mike Remlinger comes in to replace him. Same deal. Doesn't seem to matter who the pitcher is. And the Cubs beat the Bucks 4-1. Giants and Dodgers. Top 9-7-5 Dodgers. Eric Gagne. Kid is just straight off the mark. Look at all those numbers. Count quickly. Ah, let's just go to 60. That's like as in consecutive saves. And Ganya tells Jeffrey Hammonds, you ain't got to go home, kid, but you got to get the heck up out of here. 53rd save this season, 61 straight, dating back to last season. And Tom Hanks, his wife Rita, loving it. Cubs gain a game on the Strohs and a half game out in the Central. Marlins and Phillies remain separated by a half game in the wild card. Cubbies, game and a half out. Dodgers straight seasons the namesake award that greg has won four times mr cy young himself top one maddox some help rodriguez up shot 
shallow center, but Andrew Jones, hater in the house. Steve, what's going on with the can Phillies? I, can I jump in here? Go the ahead. Reds and Phillies, Sean Casey's up with two on, shot to the shortstop, Jimmy Rollins, hits off his glove, and a run scores, and the Reds had a one nothing lead. Back to you, Stu. Marlins and Braves again, bottom three, Chipper Jones up, man on second. Chip, getting medieval. Opposite field, Rafael for call. It's score. Chipper went two for two, hitting 304 this year. That made it two zip Braves. Steve, now back to the field. Meanwhile, in Philadelphia, bottom four, it's still one nothing Reds. Jim Tomey with two on, uh, not anymore. He gets out of town, his 44th of the year, fills at a 3-1 lead. Meanwhile, back in Atlanta, right after Tomey did that, this. Now, Jim Tomey just hit a three-run homer for the Phillies. They now lead the Reds 3-1. Chipper Jones, deep to right center. Chip got all of it. 27th homer of the year, 8-0 Atlanta, Steve. Meanwhile, back in Philadelphia, Stewart, top seven we go. We're tied at three. Tim Hummel is at the plate. Hummel's going to shoot one in the right. Darnell Stenson's going to come around to score, and the Reds with not a whole lot to play for, they go up 4-3. Atlanta's just crushing them, kids. The Braves use 21 players in the game, 8 nothing. They finish him off. Kit Merker gets Lenny Harris to fly out to center. Braves win 8-zip. Phillies now have a chance to tie for the wild card lead, and just, yes, Maddox gets the record. And that gets us to the bottom of the ninth in Philadelphia. Eddie Perez up with two on, two outs. This is an 0-2 count. Chris Reitzma gets Perez swinging. The Phillies lose. They lose two of three at home to the Reds. Marlins lead the Phillies by a half game of the wild card. Here's what they have left. Marlins will finish at Atlanta on Monday while the Phillies are idle. They'll rest and be in South